if we're not gonna do it who gonna do it come with me to try drake's new candle who's paying 80 dollars <laughs> for a candle oh it's drake's signature scent is that what drake smells like hold up i might have to order this really cute Getting ready for the day always just makes me feel better. It makes me feel more motivated, more excited to get things done. And low key, it does make me feel a little bit more productive throughout the day as well. And I feel like I wanna go more places. I wanna do more things. And I am gonna be running errands today. So I'm really looking forward to that. And doing some more pampering things. I wanna definitely get in a good workout and maybe like a five minute sauna session. I'm not trying to sweat my hair, but I definitely want to take care of myself and that's one of my favorite things to do is just spend a few hours at the gym i'm looking forward to my self-care shower tonight which we're gonna do today in this video winter edition because my skin has been so dry so we gotta get into the exfoliation tonight i'll show you guys some of my favorite products later today i'm also washing my bedding because i don't know about you after i do my like self-care night routine the legs are exfoliated the legs are shaved there is nothing better than getting into the bed with freshly washed crisp sheets so i'm about to get the best sleep <laughs> so i'm hoping to get those in the dryer before i have to head out another 30 minutes i don't know i just really it's the haircut it's not like i could go back and like whatever we're just gonna take it out and see usually this thing works pretty quickly and i do like it because it's heatless but again like my hair is all one length pretty much and it's just unfortunate because i was literally freezing waist length and now i'm just like not there at all but hopefully we get some body and volume. I feel like it's just not gonna hold. I was gonna wear my hair in a claw clip because I am going to the gym anyway. Um, so it doesn't have to look perfect. It just needed to look a little bit better. Get some more body up in the roots, which it already looks more voluminous. Cause this morning it was just so weighed down. And I definitely made a mistake with my hair when I did my blowout and my straightening routine with you, I didn't do my little curls to it. So usually when I do that, my hair stays like with a nice wave for like two weeks, but I did a bone straight and I will never do that again because it's just giving flat and not my favorite look on me. Like you could see there's no layers really in my hair anymore. Um, but it's giving messy, it's giving bedhead giving healthy it's just giving short <laughs> it's really giving short but i'm gonna need some more self-love because i don't like this negative talk that i'm doing right now but like i said it's healthy so that's all that matters but i'm gonna get some of this makeup out of my edges and then I saw this claw clip tutorial on Pinterest and I saved it to one of my boards. I kind of want to try it. She used like a smaller claw clip. These are the two that I have. I don't know what I'm wearing today, so 
I feel like it'll be something brownish. This is the inspo. Her hair is definitely longer. Tied it in like a little bun upside down and then tucked the ends and secured it. So that's what we're going for today. She had it kind of loose. Can you see? <laughs> so I'm just going to make sure that it's all brushed back. Tie it in an upside down like bun. She kind of fluffed the ends. And then did something with this. Obviously my hair is not as long. She like looped it around and then down. And then secured it. Ooh girl, see my shorter pieces. Maybe I did my little Bun too big. I really can't see. Y'all didn't tell me a little like that from the back. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I fixed it. It took me four times to get it right. I just tied the base of the pony a little bit tighter so it wouldn't be shifting around, and I clipped it a little bit shorter. So hopefully it stays through my workout, but it looked really cute from the side so try that out and let me know if you guys like it plus i don't think you can really see the hair tie as much as i did the first time i tried it and the clip is from target by the way so if i can find it of course i will link it for you girls down below to fill the claw clip you guys even though i got a little straggler over here but ask me what my favorite gift to myself is because i'm gonna say jewelry i'm gonna say anna louisa so big thank you to anna louisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video i picked out some cute new pieces for myself in honor of valentine's day and this is the perfect time for you guys to treat yourselves as well they make tarnish free jewelry like these earrings you guys i wear them in the shower and I take showers twice a day at least. Non-tarnished, still shining, still thriving. I love them so much. 
and they are strength tested which i think speaks for itself if you have any of their pieces you pretty much know how amazing their quality is which is why i keep going back for more that's why my entire jewelry box back there is literally all anna louisa because i can get cute pieces without having to break the bank and i can treat myself to multiple items at the same time so i wanted to give you guys a little bit of a haul and show you what pieces are new on the website pieces that i've had my eye on that i'm so happy to welcome into my own personal collection and of course i will link them down below so you guys can get your hands on some anna louisa and treat yourselves as well and the best part is you can get up to 25 percent off of their pieces for a limited time only so definitely be sure to check them out give it a browse and see if anything catches your eye you might fall in love with these pieces here because i'm already obsessed i got a lot of rings because i'm a rings girl that's something i realize about myself whenever i'm like getting ready to go out i want to kind of finish up my outfit baby i'm reaching for a bunch of rings and i love to mix and match and i wanted to get some more silver pieces they do a ton of gold and i saw this and i was like "Ooh, i need that in my collection because i don't have a lot of silver pieces but i think that 2024 is going to be my year to get some silver pieces in my jewelry collection so this one is in a ring size six so cute oh my gosh it has a nice bit of texture to it and i feel like this is gonna mix and match so well with like gold items that i already own to create like my own little ring stack i don't know i guess i'm a six on my ring finger i typically buy like ring size six sevens and eights i say a prayer and i hope for the best that it fits one of my fingers so i thought i would get a smaller size this time so i could wear multiples um and I think this is so cute. I'm gonna wear this to the gym today. Don't come for me. But I love this. They also ship anywhere in the U.S. for free, which is amazing. So we love free shipping. Also, they do like really easy exchanges as well if you don't love your stuff. Wait, why is this so cute? I don't have anything with like pearls, really. And I thought this would be such a fun ring to introduce into my collection because again it's so unique this is called the Libby and it's in also a ring size six so now we have some smaller options look how cute it's like little baby pearls and i like how it's like open in the middle it has a very nice dainty delicate band don't look at my hands from the gym you yeah, have calluses because your girl be lifting weights but these rings really just make my hands look more feminine and not so like, we weight lift. But anyway, I love these. Now I know ring size six is like my perfect ring size for my ring finger. Girl, their pieces be starting at $39. So we had to get a few items. This is another cute ring. This one I've seen like for the past few months. It's called the Evan. Also, I got it in a six. This is like a chubby style ring. Oh, I need some lotion. <laughs> but look how freaking cute it's kind of like the pearl but it's all like gold and it also has that little gap in the center super cute let me know in the comments below which ring is your fave and then the final piece i got is to add to my bracelet stack oh my gosh you guys i don't take these off don't they still look amazing you can see the shine i wanted to get another piece that i could add to my daily stack and kind of just forget about it so i picked this one out and it's a little bit different of a chain so i thought it would be really pretty and this is i think they have two different sizes so definitely check out the website and it says size six plus 1.25 inches and it's the at last i'm probably not saying that right but she is stunning oh my gosh it's like a flat chain so much shimmer is going to be added to my stack just picture it and i love that you can just pick up a bunch of cute little dainty chains and make your own little custom stack and again like they last so long they look so cute together and also they fit my small wrist like i have very tiny wrist but they also don't slip and slide they don't bother me 
so I'm gonna need my mom to help me put this one on but that's my little haul from Anna Louisa I'm really obsessed with all these new pieces and again I just feel like now is just that time to give ourselves a little more kindness a little bit more love be gentle with ourselves and remind us that we're doing the best that we can we're all just trying to do the best that we can and sometimes just getting something nice that makes us feel good or doing something for ourselves that makes us feel good even if it's a small thing can make that biggest impact on how we feel day to day and that's totally my energy moving into 2024 is just being a lot kinder to myself and being the one that is more empathetic and shows more love and compassion towards myself because if we're not gonna do it who gonna do it Anyway, $200 later, I'm surprised they had two of the candles. The candles, they all smelled really good. One of them, the Williamsburg one, I think, was very faint, so I left it on the shelf because I want to see how they burn. So I'm going to give you guys a drink candle review. Yeah, I'm excited. So excited about that. And I guess they've been out for like two years. I've been asleep. The lady was like showing me where they were because I was like, do you guys have candles? Because I was over there in the fragrance section, but they were actually by the, like a very small shelf by the front door. Got my moisturizer because it's winter and I have like very dry skin. I actually use a gel moisturizer this morning and I feel like my skin isn't as hydrated as it should be. Um, this is a brow gel I use. I did tent my eyebrows this week, so I just use this. That's a life hack. Get some uh, brow tent and then you don't have to fill them in. This is the NYX one and it's called the Instant Brow Styler. That's not what it's called. The Brow Glue. I get the clear. And then I saw that they had the Olaplex Bonding Oil in the two ounce instead of the one ounce so this one's way bigger and i only use a little bit of this so it'll last me probably the rest of this year it was like 54 dollars, so it was a little bit less expensive than buying two of the one ounce i love this it doesn't like weigh my hair down or anything or feel greasy or heavy so this is a really good oil on my straight hair i kind of use it on my curls sometimes but i don't really notice a huge difference with it but maybe I'll start using that on the curls and then this is what we are all here for you guys this is the what is this brand actually called better world fragrance house is that the brand why is the candle name the cutest it's called sweeter tings my room finna smell like Drake okay it's the fragrance candle bougie perfume 10.5 ounces the packaging is everything so I, as you guys know, I don't really buy Bath & Body Works candles anymore. I haven't. Gone are the days because they are, one, really expensive for a candle that burns so fast. Like, I'm talking in a week. That thing is, like, here and gone. And then they just smell very heavy and too fragrant almost and very toxic and it just gives like black smoke when you blow it out so i would rather invest in a really nice quality candle a soy wax or vegetable wax candle that's less toxic and i don't really burn candles all that much for me to be buying like 20 at a time y'all remember when i used to do that hoarder um so yeah i just like to buy nicer things and quality over quantity is definitely my headspace it doesn't tell me the notes on here and that's what i was looking for so i could tell you guys because they all sounded so good and like i said they all smelled really good as well 
Um, let me look this up. They were really nice in there. Um, it's because I don't look like a bum. When I go in there, no makeup, you already know. They ain't that nice. What are the statistics on that? Let me look at this candle. Sweeter Tings. Ariana Grande should come out with candles. And I wonder how well his, I never watched a candle review on these, so I wonder how well they did. Cause it can't be that good if nobody's talking about it. So it was $48, five out of five stars on the Ulta website. And the notes of this fragrance, honestly, it's very woody, which I really like. And it, it says like unisex on the display. Um, all the candles are paraben free, sulfate free, which I like. A nostalgic and addictive fragrance with subtleties of comfort and goodness. Zesty citrus top notes are combined with a bouquet of roses and iris, supported by a warming woody, earthy. Each candle does come with a gold marker. I saw that where you could write who the candle is for. I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna just leave it because my handwriting's trash. And as far as a fragrance family, it's described to be an ambery gourmand, which y'all know I love sweet scents. And the keynotes of the Sweeter Tings candle is top note, bergamot, mandarin, and lemon. Middle notes are rose, orris, and clove. And the base notes are patchouli, cedarwood, and amber. So I already knew when I saw this online, I was like, oh, I need to go check those out smelled amazing so I got to see how they burn and if you could actually smell them in the room because some candles will smell good in the canister but as soon as you light them it's very faint or it just smells completely different altogether so I'm really excited about my purchase and I'm excited to give you guys a review on the better world fragrance house yeah that's the brand of it it, like I didn't even know this was Drake like it, it's not very clear which maybe that's why he doesn't want it to be known so it could sell. It's not giving like Kim Kardashian the face of every brand that she gives. You know what I'm saying? So very interesting, very excited. Let me know if you've tried them out and if you like them. Um, and then just gives details on how to use them, which I think we all know. And then as far as the other scents, I'm not gonna read all the notes, but I just wanna see how many different fragrances. A lot of them are online only. Like they did a winter one called winter warmth limited edition they're all $48 I think the packaging gets a five out of five the um, descriptions are really nice like the selection I'm saying is really good one two three four five six candles all together oh my god there's a candle for $80 that's the one I saw in there who's paying $80 <laughs> for a candle I got three and a half star. Oh, it's Drake's signature scent. Is that what Drake smells like? Hold up, I might have to order this. All right, y'all, I'm gonna actually open up this candle. I wanna do a reel. It just came to me. You know, come with me to try Drake's new candle. Old candles. <laughs> Something like that. So I'm gonna get um, a video. You see my phone is set up and unbox it, and I can only do it one time. So hopefully... This will be good. Why are we so zoomed in? Okay, I just lit this baby a minute ago and it's already scenting up my room. Honestly, the smell reminds me a lot of my favorite, uh, I think they're soy-based candles. Do I have one here? Yes, this brand from Target. 
Um, they actually have one. It's like a patchouli scent and that has patchouli in it. That reminds me a lot of this brand. So if you want to dupe, go to Target and get these. But you already know Drake is... He's the GOAT, okay? I will support him, have supported him since his Degrassi days. So I thought it'd be interesting to try this out. Um, for the price, like the aesthetic of it, the canister is very heavyweight, thick glass, the font, the text, the marker, cute concept. Um, again, I'm not going to utilize that, so I feel like it's kind of a waste for me personally. And it's just, it's smelling really good. So I'm going to let it burn for a little bit and see like how long it'll take for me to smell it from like outside my door but right now for a single wick because these ones are double wick um ooh, this smells good too now i'm like hold up this 15 dollar candle <laughs> might be where it's at but i'm really liking that so far but i could also be biased because i love drake so i'm excited that i have that now again let me know if you guys have tried them out i definitely think if i like this one and i burn it you know, today and tomorrow, I might go online and order his signature one as like a, a late Christmas gift, whatever, for myself. Mmm, that smells so good. So, also love this box. The box, it also has like this velvety lining. I didn't show you guys, but this is the little mini Sharpie B um, W F H. Did it come? Oh my god, Drake, come on. He done give me a busted up Sharpie, y'all. The ghetto. But you know what? We weren't going to use it anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. I'm obsessed already. And it's just the little things that bring you joy. Getting ready for bed is probably my favorite part of the day. I love to create a nice ambiance and a routine. So for my everything shower, the vibes got to start with a candle. So shout out to Dossier for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you guys are looking for some luxury fragrances on a budget, Dossier is definitely that girl. I'm going to link them down below because I have an awesome coupon code for you girls to save some money off on my favorite fragrances. Starting with the Ambery Vanilla, which is a dupe for the YSL fragrance. It has beautiful notes of pear, pink pepper, licorice, orange blossom, cedarwood, jasmine, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee. Like, how does that not sound so delicious? Definitely one of my go-to night fragrances alongside with a cult favorite. I would say this is probably Dossier's like most selling fragrance, which is the Embry Saffron. It is a dupe for the Baccarat Rouge. That fragrance is like $500, you guys. I'm not paying for that. So we can get this one on Dossier for $44 right now on sale. So definitely the perfect time to treat ourselves during valentine's day some self-love energy and this one has saffron orange blossom jasmine plum cedarwood oak moss balsam and amber also really delicious fragrances i love wearing perfumes at night before bed it just makes me feel so complete because my skin I don't know if you can see I have eczema prone skin I have patches they're dry they're itchy I went to Target I got this four dollar Vaseline hand cream y'all when I tell you my eczema is gone it's been about a week bless me 
Girl, this $4 lotion is the only thing to have worked all my life. So go get you some of this. And like I said earlier, definitely be sure to check out Ana Luisa. My bracelets look so cute. Finally got on my new piece and I will see you girls in my next vlog.